Okay, now I'm here. Hey. Now, now I'm here. Hey, guys. What's up? Uh, what's up? What's up? All right, if anyone has any calculators, get the fuck out of your hands. I slapped them out of your hands. Get that shit the hell out of here. If you can't do it right, don't do it at all. We're going to finally learn how to do math once and for all with the help of our good friend, Baldi. Whom, un who despite the having the name Bald, he's, he, he is also, yes, Bald. But he was named Baldi before he was Bald. Uh, okay, I can only assume. Everyone hand over your cell phones, too, because I know there are calculators in those. Hand them over. Hand over your cell phones, your calculators, and if anyone has any abacuses, hand them over as well. I'm not playing around anymore. Hand the abacus over. Now. Not my abacus. Your abacus. Give it here. You can ever kiss my ass, tomato. Hang on, there's someone scraping furniture up above my head. D Stop! Stop! They're not listening. We can hear it? I know, there's someone vacuuming. <laughs> Despite the fact that I like... Despite the fact that they know the one time they shouldn't is at exactly 2 to th like 4 p.m. I'm so tired of this, like, just the sound of scraping. You don't usually stream on Saturday? It's any day. Any day. Between 2 to 4 p.m. Something's going on where I will need people to not be talking. It's every day. That's- that's the quiet time. Okay. I'd rather them wake me up while I'm sleeping than do it now. I've had enough of it. Fire them? I should. Take your time! Take your time! It does- it- none of it matters. Dude! I saw that, dude! Someone was trying to- Dude, I love sponsorship deals, dude! I especially love when people out offer me them live on stream, bro! I love that shit, dude! I will take any deal offered to me live! Immediately! Yes, bro! Yes, bro! Yes, dude! Because I love money. <sighs> Hell nah, ain't no way. <laughs> Wasn't a sponsor, but wanted to prop up your stream a bit more. I love getting advertised by bot accounts bro please dude i love that shit dude i need all the help i can get out here dude i need all the help i can get you will fail says a chat member you will fail damn coming in hot chat coming in hot today man what the heck ominous fail what Math? First comment of the day. I wish it was possible on Twitch as like the streamer to click on someone's profile and see how long they've been watching the current session of a stream. Because the energy of that totally changes if they posted that after watching like 
10 minutes of the stream or five seconds of the stream. Because in five seconds, if you open the stream and you're like, you're gonna fucking beef it bad out there. It's like, I don't really know what the fuck you're talking about. You don't have any context or anything going on. What are you talking about? You will fall. Merry Christmas, tomato. It is not. It's not Christmas, man. You very reason to say about it. It never will be. That's right. I'm gonna cancel it this year, just like the Grinch. Dude, honestly, though, you know what the Grinch really taught me? It just kind of it sort of just like taught me that like I don't know. Home security is important. <laughs> Cause like all of those who's got broken into that night, he fucking robbed the entire city. Like, dude, you guys gotta lock your doors and windows. What the fuck? You're lucky the Grinch only stole like presents. It wasn't like a serial killer. Dude. They should be thankful that he didn't like murder someone. You know? Taught me you can commit mass home invasion and get away with it you if you have a significant cardiac event. Huh. Huh. Hmm. You guys think the Grinch just faked it because he thought he was going to get in a lot of trouble if he didn't turn his, himself around after, like, getting all that stuff? You think he just had, like, a change of heart that wasn't quite literally his heart growing? Because that's kind of a cop-out to be like, hey, he had a medical event which changed his entire personality. Instead, it could have just been like, hey, uh, he just fucking realized he's kind of an asshole. And then played it up as, like, he had a medical event so he didn't have to admit that he had been, he was actually wrong. His heart got bigger due to stress. Yeah. How how would have you have improved the Grinch's plan? Well, I mean, you don't need to... Here's the thing. Okay. You don't need to take all of the presents away to stop the Who's from having fun. You could very easily simply have burned them all in a big pile and saved yourself the trip up the mountain. Okay, you could have easily just burned them. Like, just got them on a big bonfire and burn all the presents. Burn them all. Oh, the presents? Chat, I said the presents like five times and like everyone in chat was like, you mean the who's, right? You sicko? Sometimes I think you guys are actually fucked in the head. And you just like desperately need to project that like brain fuckery to like to me to make yourself not feel like you're crazy. So like I, I never at any point said the who's. I said the presents. And people 18 times are like, he's talking about the who's. He wants to kill all the who's. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't say that. I never said that. Not once. You're sick. You see, the real present was family, so he meant burn the who's. Ah, yes. I meant to burn the who's. Well, chat, think about it like this, okay? Probably about five seconds after that movie ended, the entire snowflake at which Who Town exists within 
landed on something that could not sustain its temperature and it melted instantly killing all of them. So at the end of the day, does any of it really matter? The existence of the Grinch and his people are so finite and temporary that it never mattered to begin with. I would rather scientists reveal that I lived in a simulation than reveal that we all live in a big ass snowflake tumbling down towards the surface of another planet. All right, any day of the week. Dude, snowflakes die the second they touch things sometimes, I swear. They don't have any staying power. They just land and go, and then just melt. Horton finds it. It doesn't matter if Horton fuck finds it. Well, I'll tell you what, if Horton didn't find a who in like a speck of dust and he instead found it in a snowflake, that movie would have been a lot darker. Okay? Because Horton outputs body heat. Okay, that movie would have been a lot darker. And same with the book. But the movie had to be longer. The book could have been three pages and it could have been okay being dark because it would have ended very quickly. The movie would have had a really dark like 85 minutes. Okay. Horton wouldn't have hurt. <laughs> no, no, Horton would have hurt a lot more. He would have hurt a lot of screaming. He would have heard many who's. Not singular, many. Okay. Okay, chat, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. You're in a Horton situation. You're eating cereal. Okay. And then one of the, one of the fucking frosted flakes you're snacking on goes like, Hello? Hey. I'm a little guy in like a, there's lots of us in here in this frosted flake. We live here. What do you do? <laughs> what do you... What do you do? Cause like... Death... Eat it faster. You guys are gonna eat it faster. You guys are gonna pick up... You guys are gonna pick up the frosted flake that's talking to you, that's confirming that they have an entire civilization within it. And you're gonna fucking crunch down it and kill them? All of them? In one bite? I feel like I would just pick up the single flake and throw it directly into the garbage. Like, I wouldn't kill them, but I'd be like, this can't be my problem. It's going in the trash. I'm not eating it, but I want that one gone. That is worse. You're telling me it's worse to spare them and throw them into a trash bag when their entire existence before it was inside of a plastic bag in a box of Frosted Flakes. And it's worse to do that than it is to chew down on them and I quote, as hard as you can, according to some chat members. You're gonna tell me that my plan is worse. I think I'm hitting the nail on the head with some of you guys actually being unhinged. And you just desperately try to fucking cope by acting like I'm more unhinged than you when you know for a fact that you've lost it and you have had lost it for weeks. You've lost it for weeks. It's been gone for hours, weeks, days, months. Maybe you never had it at all, chat. You were born crazy. Man, some people in chat really need help. <laughs> Equals forward slash. Bro, true.
To me, the crazy frog is just a normal frog. True, dude, true. I relate to crazy frog. Nah, dude, I can't relate to crazy frog. He never wears, he doesn't, he genuinely has his schlong out. Couldn't be me. Yes, and couldn't, couldn't do that. Couldn't just run around making like beep sounds as I drive around the city with my fucking dong just flopping around in the, the wind. I couldn't do that. And the fact that some of you are baffled by that again allows me to loop back to my point that you're the fucking crazy ones and I've been normal all along. And I'm tired, all right? I'm tired of constantly being brought down to your level. Ain't no way this streamer isn't naked. <laughs> fuck you, dude, fuck you. Turn Kim on right now, naked boy. Shut up, dude. I'm not, dude. I'm not. I'm not one. Not turning on the camera. I'm. I'm a mess. <laughs> I'm. A, I'm a mess. Okay. I look like a caveman. I'm not turning it on. <laughs> He's naked. I'm not naked. I'm not turning it on. I'm not turning it on. Dude, the first part of me that deteriorates when I'm really stressed out about, like, health stuff and life stuff is my physical form, and I am not turning on my fucking webcam. <laughs> the first part of me that falls apart is the part of me that takes care of my form. I am- I- <laughs> that ain't turning on. I'm greasy. That's what a naked person would say. Greasy like John Callisto. I forgot about that game so fucking fast after I finished playing it. Holy shit. I actually forgot it existed until today. That's fucked up. Dude, I have a fucking replica of the goddamn baton on my, like, on a shelf. Because they sent me a big ass box with it in it. I've got, like, an actual replica of a baton from a game that wasn't very good. Isn't that depressing? I get- I get reminded every day for a split second that, like... There's like- I have a thing from them. I also have a UJC rations mug next to me that I use to drink tea now because I do like the- it's a good mug. It's a good quality mug. <laughs> the burger icon? It's got the burger icon, dude. It's the burger. It probably has a camera in it. You think... You think Callisto Protocol put a camera in my mug? You guys have lost it, holy shit. <laughs> you guys have lost your fucking minds, dude! You're unhinged! You snapped! I'm not sure you ever had it to begin with, dude. You sick in the head. I started playing a little more Dwarf Fortress again. I'm finally over the crash that ruined my life and made me not want to play it anymore, dude. I had a, a dwarf child outside. Uh, playing with toys because I hadn't they were like a new migrant They're outside of the fort playing with toys and a little a little bird came down <laughs> And stole the toy <laughs> Stole the toy out of their out of their hand <laughs> The little Kia stole their toy. And then it came back and stole them. <laughs> it did a twofer, dude. 
did it! It did it too for <laughs> It steals the kid's toy and then it spins back around after hugging the toy in a tree, picks up the kid and just takes him away. And I was like, damn dude. <laughs> what the what the fuck? I, like good though, honestly, dude. It takes like it so years pass by so slowly in Dwarf Fortress that a dwarf child is a dwarf child forever, as far as I'm concerned. That I'm just like, yeah, bye. One less mouth to feed. It got taken by birds. It went outside. What do you want me to fucking do? It was fucked up though. It's fucked up to watch. search for him listen here I play Dwarf Fortress like exploration stuff beyond my blocks same way I played in RimWorld which is everything outside of the place that I'm building a fucking base is dead to me they can come to me if they want I don't do things out there and it's hard to adjust to because I know it's not the way you're supposed to play these games but I don't do things if John Rimworld needs my help 500 meters from my base and requires a trip that I have to give people food to go on well John Rimworld it looks like you're gonna fucking die because I'm not doing that or I just don't do stuff like that I fucking absolutely loathe it even though I d even though it's me actively whiffing parts of the game as a result I just can't my brain, like, hates managing that crap. I always feel like I do something wrong and then, like, halfway along the trip, someone in, like, my colony or whatever was like, Hey, I'm so fucking hungry, dude, and I forgot my goldfish. Please, I'm gonna die. I'm so tired. So you've never beaten RimWorld? The idea of beating RimWorld is such a dumb concept to me, the same way that the idea of, like, really beating any of those kinds of games is kind of dumb to me. I don't really view those games as, like, necessary to beat. I think it's more of the enjoyment you get out of making the thing. Like, yeah, you can beat RimWorld, but it's like, I don't... That part... That last stretch is 0% fun to me. Z literally 0% fun. So it's like, why would I do it? I get the fun of those games is what you make of them. You know? It's like saying you yeah, haven't beat Tetris to me. Yeah, well, I mean, it's like the first couple times you play RimWorld, that, those are the highest chances you have that you're going to beat it. Because after that, you're adding mods. And then you're in like that kind of mod race where you're likely going to give up long before you get to the end because you added so much content that there's such a larger gap between you and the end every time. <clears throat> and then add expansions on top of it, etc., etc. Where it's like, realistically, you're never going to get there. I've never... I love Factorio and I put hundreds of hours into it. Never actually beat the base game because the next time I got far enough into the game to where I would have beaten the base game, I was playing with mods that let me go to space and therefore the base game ending quote unquote was no longer even the end and it literally didn't exist so like a lot of those games are kind of the same sort of thing to me i don't really ever beat them and that's okay That's why I kind of like Dwarf Fortress in that there is no end game and there is no goal to the end. So instead, you're just kind of enjoying the time you have while you're there. I'm excited to see when like the first like big overhaul mods are going to get ported to the Steam version. Tomatoes ranting about Factorio again. Sound the alarms. Aren't they making an expansion now? I think they're making an expansion for Vectoria. Yeah, they are. That'll be cool. 
I'm not even sure Factorio needs an expansion when the mods for Factorio are so in-depth and so elaborate that they're basically already... It feels like they have, like, open source action, like, access in, like, Factorio as it is. But what do I know? They're running out of money? I mean, you say that. But, I mean, Factorio has sold a lot of copies. <laughs> I don't think they're a big team. They're pouring to the Switch right now. Yeah. Which I'm sure will sell them a million more copies. You know who's cashing out hard? You, you want to know a dev that's really fucking making a lot of money? The Vampire Survivors guy, dude. Holy shit, that guy's gotta be fucking rolling in it at this point, dude. Like, let's all be fair. Yeah, Vampire Survivors, fun game, addictive. Uh, the guy stumbled upon fucking video game crack. He somehow managed to make the perfect formula for a game that is undoubtedly probably very easy to develop compared to other stuff on the market. And good for him for it. Rock on, dude, get that bag. He's got, he found a flat, it's a flappy bird moment where he basically flappy birded. Except instead of, instead of shutting it down the second people like, well, people were never going to get mad at Vampire Survivors. They put out another, they put out a DLC like two days ago that I only just now heard of. For like two dollars. That just adds like five more weapons to the game and like a character or some shit. And, like, it's good, too, because it's just, like, it's all very easy to incrementally add new stuff to this game. It's all modular. And the dude's just, uh, you know for a fact he tested the water with that and people fucking loved it. And I can guarantee there's going to be, like, eight more DLC in the next, like, couple years. And he's going to cash out fucking hard now. And I mean, hey, dude, game only costs $7 total for everything. Who fucking cares? I, I've already, I don't play a lot of those kinds of games and I've put like enough into that game where I'd be like, I could have paid $20 for this and still have been okay with it. So like, damn dude, fucking grab that bag, man. Respect the hustle on that. Although I will say this, of those style of games like Vampire Survivors, uh, objectively, Brotato is a better game. Objectively. Sorry. Brotato is better. If you haven't heard of Brotato, Brotato is very good. That's that's of that genre. That's my favorite one. I'd say they're very different games. I mean, I mean, you could say that the same way that The Surge and Dark Souls are very different games. They both have the same bones. They're the same bones. Like, that's not to say The Surge is a good game that's comparable to Dark Souls. It is not, but I'm just saying, like, genre-wise. These are the, the same... The same bones. You know? Surge wasn't awful. The Surge is a good game. I didn't like the Surge very much. I thought the impact of weapons in that game felt weird and bad. I... I think that's been an issue that the devs of that... Like, the, that dev team has had an issue with for a while. The impact and everything in those games just never feels very good. And I have Surge 2, I never played it. And I realistically probably never will. You should give it a shot? With what time, man? With what fucking time? I'm already too busy learning math today. 
How am I supposed to find the time to play The Surge 2 when I'm too busy hanging out with Baldi learning math? Like, use your head for a second. How am I supposed to... I gotta spend the next eight hours trying to figure out what the heck this math equation even means. Eight plus... Eight plus circle equal eight. Huh? But what? But what? But what? Huh? What? It doesn't make any sense. You know, I've been wanting to play again, chat. Fucking Metal Gear Solid Five. What a what a game that I constantly want to play, but then hate the idea of playing the second I install it every time. God damn it. Pisses me off. There's like some mods for it too, that like change some things around. But it makes me so sad that it's unfinished and then I get depressed. And then I look at like Death Stranding and I'm like, well at least that one's finished. And I, I have thought about replaying Death Stranding. That's like rare for me to replay like a AAA game. But I never did like the director's cut of Death Stranding, and I was like, I kind of could go for delivery again. I kind of could go for like, delivering mail. But I heard that the director's cut content for that game was just a stealth zone, and I'll tell you what didn't hit for me with Death Stranding. <laughs> Every moment I had to do combat was the worst parts of Death Stranding. And if there- if I had to sneak around and st I didn't even know the game had stealth. Because it was so bad, in that regard. I want Metal Gear Solid 3 remade in 5 style. I wouldn't put it past Konami if they really care about getting back into games. Which I don't think they really do. But if they really want to like do like remakes, remaster quotes and quotes of like games that are popular, they already technically did it for S Snake Eater in like the early 2010s or whatever with like the triple bundle Metal Gear Solid thing. Grabbing the Metal Gear Solid 5 engine and just reworking Metal Gear Solid 3 for it would be gold. That would just remaking Snake Eater in that engine would have been free money for them. Now it's probably too late. It's probably too late for them to use it. Maybe, I don't know. Fox Engine was really good when it came out, but I don't think it probably stands up now. But that would have been that would have been fucking gold. That would they would have been printing money off of that, I think. What's up, Benji? Thanks for the raid, man. Welcome, welcome. We're gonna be doing math today. Did everyone drop your calculators and cell phones off at the box by the door? If you bring them in, you will get in big trouble. Metal Gear Solid 3 had all of its cutscenes remade in Fox for Pachinko. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Damn, now I'm sad. See, that's also the thing, though. I think Metal... That you'd have to... You couldn't just remake... You couldn't just port the levels and stuff over to, like, that engine. You'd have to remake the whole game and all the levels be way more open-ended for Snake Eater to work in that engine because... That engine was built from the ground up to function with how open-ended everything in Metal Gear Solid 5 was. So you'd have to, it would be a fucking massive rework. That would be a full remake to do that. And I don't think Konami would ever want to do that. They barely even wanted to spend the time to look for a good developer to give Silent Hill to. <laughs> they just gave it to the first guys they saw. So like, I don't think they care that much. This is like wishful thinking. <laughs> Fucking bluebird, dude. Fucking bluebird, dude. <laughs> Fucking bluebird.
My God. Who's Bloober? Bloober team are the people that made layers of fear and some other very ext I would describe Bloober team as the most average mid-tier horror game developers on earth. <laughs> they are they are the epitome of staggeringly average aside from Observer which was solid which isn't much better than average. I, I mean, the best part of Observer was the voice actor. Like, the main character stuff. Like, that part was... Like, the that that in the world, but it wasn't a very scary game. But it was good. It was... Co compared to the others, I'll give them credit on that. But... One... One non-stinker... Among a sea of stinkers... Doesn't give me much hope. So far. They'll have to... Who knows, though? Maybe they'll... Maybe they'll figure it out. You know they're gonna mess up Silent Hill? Hey dude, but think about it like this. Unlike all the other games that Konami has that are beloved, like Metal Gear Solid and etc., Silent Hill was a stinky pile of shit before Konami stopped making games, so who are we kidding? <coughs> Who are we kidding? Like, it's not like it was good before Konami stopped making games. They made Homecoming and Downpour. Which, or whatever the fuck it, that one was called. Okay. <laughs> so, they've been beefing it for a while. True, but that's because they gave the rights to an American developer. Still doesn't change the fact that that was when Konami allegedly gave more of a shit about that stuff and they still decide to give the rights to something. It's still their choice to do it. It's not like they have like a gunpoint at the back of their head to give the rights over. And they also chose to give the rights over to Bloober Team. Look, Konami, you got your pachinkos of all this stuff. Write up some fucking deals so that you're allowed to continue to make pachinko games off of all these old brands and then auction off all of them for people to make video games of. Give it to the people with the most money. I'm sure one of them that has a lot of money will buy them and do something good with it. Not EA's running out of money, dude. They they couldn't afford to keep FIFA. They're running out. <laughs> they spent all their money getting fucking Star Wars and FIFA, and then they lost them. They're running out. I don't I don't, I don't think we gotta worry too much about EA. They lost everything. They're scrambling to keep themselves afloat with Apex and other stuff like that. before Activision takes it. Chat, as much as I fucking loathe Activision with every fiber of my goddamn being, I'd rather Activision have Castlevania than Konami. I'd rather EA have Castlevania than Konami because at least they're going to do something with it. Konami is just shitting on, like, they're just, they're, they're just not doing anything. I'd rather just anyone have it at this point. Anyone. Anyone. Castlevania to Nintendo Omega LOL. Man. I really want a new true Castlevania game. Cause like I love I really like the one that was made. What was the one that was made recently? That wasn't a Castlevania game, but it was obviously extremely inspired by Symphony of the Night. It was made by, like, a lot of the same team. Can't remember what it was called. Bloodstained. 
I liked Bloodstained, but it still wasn't Castlevania. You know what I mean? It wasn't, it, it still wasn't Castlevania. So, uh, I would really like an actual Castlevania game. Let them go public domain, give them to the indie devs. Look, if there's one thing I know about things going to the public domain, it's that it may not be as good as we all thought it was gonna be, okay? I don't know if you guys have seen the last couple months of horror movies being announced, the monkey paw curls, and we might get a couple indie devs amidst a sea of trash that try to do so- Dude, if I- But- if I had the choice to make my own unique game or do something with public domain knowing that 80 other people are gonna make absolutely, like, just disgusting, steamy piles of shit that I'm gonna have to fight through to even get people's attention with my game, I wouldn't bother. I wouldn't fucking bother, you know? Like, I'd rather just do my own thing. Bad games are good for the industry, though. For sure, man! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Garbage is really good for the industry! How? Do you mean good for, like, me? Like, as a streamer? <laughs> this is good for Bitcoin! <laughs> You're right! Every bad game... Every bad game is quietly farming Bitcoins behind the scenes in the executable. It's good for the economy. It's good for the crypto economy. These bad games need to exist. Yes. Do bad emotes need to exist? Says Corp worried. Shut the fuck up. Do you just... Did you just fucking take a swing at Corp worried? <laughs> Delete this. No! No. Michael stocks rising. Michael can go to hell, honestly. Over, but long before Corp worried goes away, Michael would go away. I'll tell you what. You guys don't even like Michael for being Michael. It's all you just use him as like a fucking vehicle for gilk. Okay, that's all you use him for. I'm a gilker. I'm a gilker. Michael's a gilker. All right, that's it. Everyone drop your calculators in the back. Once we're done with this game, if we don't get a full stream out of it, we have other variety horror stuff we might do after. So keep your eyes peeled. Keep your eyes peeled. I've got I've got a sp I got some spooky fucking stuff in store today. Specifically a uh observation duty style game after this so keep your eyes keep your wits about you but first we're gonna play baldi's basics plus it's a mild horror game and this is not educational software hey don't listen to that that's a trick that's a trick to fool you into not learning don't listen to that no one listen to that that's not true why would they lie? Well, actually, wait, no. Why would they? 
They'd lie because they want to scare people away from getting too smart. If everyone's got good smarts and knows how math do, they're going to make more wise uh, purchasing decisions. So they want to scare people away from learning. It makes sense. It adds up. It adds up. After this, it says JK. Yeah, probably. What? Hello? Oh, shit. Toolhouse. To come on in, just click on your name. Or, if you haven't been here before, just type it in, and then click on it. It's that easy. Uh-huh. Uh, Baldi, you good, man? His mouth is just, like, flapping around. I need to turn up the game. Hang on, I'm gonna use the launch of this game as a means for me to figure out my audio balancing for this. I'm gonna relaunch it and listen to him talk again, because I need to turn it up. I need to turn it up a little, so I'm gonna relaunch it so when he talks, I can see if it's balanced this time. It sounds balanced. This game is deliberately crusty. Whoa. Okay, oh, yeah. Hi. Hey. Welcome to my super schoolhouse. To come on in, just click on your name. Or, if you haven't been here before, just type it in. Okay, hi. Uh, my name is, uh... That easy. Uh-huh. My name is gonna be Idiot. Welcome. Since you're new, be sure to check out the controls. Whoa. Well, here we are at the educational system of the future. Here we are. Uh, let's check. Let's check the controls first thing. Uh, we're gonna want captions. We need to know when stuff's going on around us. Oh yeah, check out that. Tw check out that twenty-five sixty by one four forty p resolution, dude. You can tell it's working because my because it's in uh th four by three. <laughs> dude. Check out this anti-aliasing we have on this, dude. It's smooth as heck. Look at how smooth that line is. Okay. Controls. Whoa. Ah, uh, looking good. Sure, we'll go with whatever that is. Data. Idiot. <laughs> looking good, man. Ah, uh, reduced intensity of certain visual effects that may be uncomfortable for some players. Feels like that's just a fair one to take off right away. If a game says something's gonna make me visually uncomfortable, I don't see why... I would, uh, leave it off. Okay, well... Alright, Baldi. Hide and seek. Play hide and seek with Baldi. Can you beat all levels without losing? Collect these main notebooks says you can't before Baldi tags you. Baldi speeds up over time, but notebooks slow him down. Play endless versions of your fi- Okay, hang on. Explore- Explore Baldi's super schoolhouse to your heart's content. You can explore any level you've reached in hide and seek. I guess we'll do hide and seek because it's the top one. I guess I'll play- I guess we'll play. Oh. Hi. Let's play hide and seek. Hey, Baldi. You live like this? Uh. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. All right, man. Oh, fuck, he's actually counting. I'm gonna hide in school faculty only. All right. Uh. I got a soda, B soda, and a quarter. Can I use this? I got a chocolate bar. Whoa. Huh? Huh? Uh. The captions are actually like not working for me, like as in I don't like them yet. Kind of tells me where they are. You guys think Baldi's around the corner, right? I'm gonna check. Oh, fuck! Oh, wait, I think that's him knowing I'm here. Oh. Fuck, 
He's got a fucking thing in his hand. Oh! Oh! What the? We lost him, folks. We lost him. Uh, so I need to find four notebooks, piece of cake, easy peasy. Uh, I think, I think Baldy, I took a sip of, well, I don't know any of the control. I feel like I was supposed to do like a different mode to learn the con. Okay, let's go get the heck out of there. I don't think it counts unless he grabs me. I think that's how hide and seek works. So I'm allowed to just get the fuck out of there. I'm just gonna get away from him. Uh. We just, we gotta find notebooks. Let's just take a look around. Good news is he's too slow to stop me right now. Let's we'll check in this. Oh, notebook. There we go. Today's YTPs. What the? Huh? Who's that guy? That's him. He's probably a little bit faster now that I have a notebook. We better get the heck out of here. What WD no squee when your doors are too loud you need them to be quiet. Well, I definitely know that he apparently locks on to me if I open Party at the principal's office. Come and get your present. Okay. Is that this one? Tries to impress others by blowing bubblegum and bubbles, but usually just ends up spitting them out. Get the fuck away from me, you freak! I know your lore! No, oh, fuck Baldi's right there. I'll take it out of here. I know his lore. I know his lore. He spits bubbles at you or something. Content, dude, we gotta grab that. He's getting faster. Did you hear that? Who the fuck's this clown? Oh no. This is a bully. No Can I take your cane? Does he want to? Oh, fucking Jesus. He it's took my. The guy just took my soda. The guy took- the bully took my soda. The bully actually just stole my soda out of my fucking hands. Dude, get lost. Fuck off. I think he's getting faster. I need to run. The dude stole my soda. Right out of my hands. I believe he- Oh, I misclicked again. I don't think I'm long for this world on this run. I think I kind of beefed a couple things. Uh, I keep misclicking and using items when I shouldn't be because it's right click to use them. Not like E or anything. Okay, well, Baldi's on his way, but he's really slow still, which is good. Oh, I'm actually fucked. I have a plan. I'm gonna use the soda. No man, I'm just gonna go around him. I think I'm still faster. I am. What the fuck? Okay, guys, I'm still faster than. Him. We're just gonna go. We're gonna get around him. We're gonna go around the guy and find the last, the last note bags. And then we can maybe figure out what the heck. There's not even one in here. Go away. Get the fuck away from me! Ah! What just happened to me? The guy said, feast your eyes, and then just spat gum right into my face. <laughs> I was unable to process most of what was happening to me. Save and quit. Maybe we do endless mode. And we do just like a random level, and we just kind of like, Take in everything around us. All right. It seems like Baldi's really good at this. Okay, we're gonna do uh, level one Baldi. Here we go. Oh, hi. Hi. Let's play hide and seek. 
Okay. Oh, this is just the endless mode for the thing. Okay. Which is the one that asks you questions? I'm not sure. That's what I was trying to find. I think there's also the, like, legacy version of Baldi's Basics, which is maybe what we want to start with so I actually know what the fuck this game's about, because it's like a legacy version. Maybe we grab that Thanks quick, because that's, like, the one I'm that actually too. has, like, the the original, like, content that I've also never played, and I think that would help me understand what's going on. Which is just Baldi's basic classic... Oh, yeah, it's this one. All right, I'm installing it. It takes, like, two seconds. It's only, like, five megabytes. All right. We will find out how to do math today, chat. Everyone calm down. And then we will play hide and seek. What the heck? Uh... My, dude, my, I need to fix my audio. Like my, not on your side, on my side, my like cord, the wire I use to hear myself in my mixer is like having an issue. And sometimes it just goes like silent. Whoa. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We got it now. Everyone focus up. Education and learning. Yeah, shut the fuck That's up. Me. Shut the fuck up. We're gonna do, uh... Hide and seek with Baldi in this recreation of the original game. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do classic style. Okay. Classic Baldi. Oh, hi. Welcome to my schoolhouse. Hello. School rules. When you follow the school rules, no running, no entering faculty only rooms, no bullying, no drinking, no escaping detention, no fourth wall breaks. Okay. Uh, let's do some math problems, Chet. All right, everyone try to keep up. Now it's time for everybody's favorite subject math. Answer the three questions correctly, and you might get something special. Just type the correct answer into the empty box. I love Press math! the OK button when you think you have the right answer. Problem one. Two minus two equals... Zero. Whoa! I think you might be smarter than me. Wow! Two. Eight minus two uh, equals... Six. <laughs> Problem three. Three plus three equals uh, six. You're doing fantastic. You did great. Come here and get your prize. I get a prize. I get a prize. I get a prize, a shiny quarter. Put the interact button to pick it up. Then, when you find something you can use it on, use the item button on the object with the quarter selected. Yeah, shut the fuck up. All right, Baldi? We already confirmed I'm smarter than you. What the fuck are we even still doing here? Shut the fuck up and leave me alone. All right, how about you stay in your goddamn way? Problem one. Yeah, it's seven. All right. It's 15. The next one's 15. Hang on. 15. I can't believe it. You're incredible. Problem three. Yep. Plus. All right. Equals. Uh, hmm. Hey, chat. Um, what the fuck? Uh, hey, chat. What the fuck? What's going on at the end here? Um. I'm willing to take uh, suggestions. Unless it's the two funny numbers, and if it is, you're fucking embarrassing and you need to grow the hell up, alright? You need to grow up. Okay, this isn't a game for kids. Alright? I'm, uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and say it's, uh, three. Alright, I think I'm gonna go with three on this one.
Baldi. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Got a sweep, sweep, sweep. You go ahead and you stay in there as long as you like. Who the fuck is that? What are all these creatures? I don't understand who any of these people are. Hang on, there's something here. Oh, this is the detention room. I gotta get out of here. That was the principal's office or whatever. Another shiny quarter. Oh, fuck, Baldy can see me. <gasps> Hello! Who are you? Oh, he ran away. Where did he go? Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> Get the fuck away from me. Who is that? Let's just take it easy and figure out where all these notebooks are, okay? And just go as fast as we can while still getting items. We got, what is this? Baldi's least favorite tape? I don't know how that's supposed to fucking help me. Can I drop this? Okay. I had a backward, oh, I think I just used the chocolate bar. Oh no. I had a button that let me see backwards for a second and I lost it. What was I pressing? Oh, space bar. No running in the hall. Get the fuck away from me. Don't. Fifteen seconds. Detention for you. Like you should know. Did I just get sent to detention? Baldi's out there, man, but he may not know I'm in here right now. This might be the only reason we're safe. Maybe we look up the lore of these characters. Maybe we spend this time to look up the lore of some of these characters and figure out who they are. The weirdo. Despite her poor eyesight and short memory, she's always looking for a playmate. Let's play. Shy and tries to be avoided, doesn't like being looked at, and gets jealous of people with more notebooks than him. Okay. Oh, no. Oh no. No! No! Huh? Ah! Ow! Welcome. Okay, this time we do this for real. No jokes and no fun to be had anywhere. We do this for real the right way. Okay, let's get this by done by the books this time. Get the fuck out of my way. Welcome to my school. Now it's time for everybody's favorite subject. Hey. You're doing fantastic. Negative one. Problem. Great job. Fourteen. Great job. Yeah, I know it. That's right. Yeah, I know it. You did great. Come here and get your prize. I don't want it. A shiny quarter. Shut the fuck up. Problem one. Seven. Uh-huh. You got Negative three. One. Problem three. Uh, zero. Crack snack. Guys, it's time to do this. Here he comes. Alright, we do this by the books. No running in the halls. That's how we got in trouble last time. He's not fast yet. Let's just be careful. He only knows vaguely where we are. Let's use that to our advantage. I need to get off the streets. Fuck! Oh no! Damn it, there was a notebook in there, but I don't have time. He's after me, dude! Ow. 
I don't know if I have time. The world is big, class dismissed. Three, four, bah. I get angry every time you get a question wrong. Didn't ask, dude. The faculty can't see through windows. That's important. No running in the hall. Fuck me, dude. Lock that! <laughs> Alright, we lost him! We're not going to detention today! No one's catching me that easy. I... No fucking way. No fucking way that just happened to me. No fucking way that guy just did that to me. Detention for you. 15 when seconds! You when will I? I Fuck out of here! No! Welcome to Baldy Basics in Education and Learning. That's me. This kid needs to fuck off. This kid needs to fuck off. Get back in there. I think we're almost ready to go to the like the game I paid money to get though. Welcome to my school. Cause this is like the classic like slender version. I think we're almost ready to go to like the other version again. Now it's time for everybody. Twelve, three, nine. You paid for the other one? Of course I did. I'm a I'm a I'm a lover of the arts. And this game right here, this game is art. Just give me this. I'm a lover of the arts, Chad. I'm a. Problem one. I have taste far beyond anything you could possibly comprehend. All right, Baldy, I'm over it. Come on, let's roll. He's coming. He's coming. I'm unconcerned by the sweeper. I'm not concerned by the sweeper. I should have grabbed that chocolate bar, though. What is with the giant cell phone? Is that a giant cell phone? That's a cell phone. Oh no. Oh my fucking. You messed up, you. How about you go fuck yourself, all right? What the fuck is this shit? Let's play again. Yeah, sometime soon. Whatever, lady. No running in the hall. Fuck! 15 seconds. Detention for you. You should know better. No fucking way he gets me. No fucking way. He can't see through this. He can't see through it. He charged up like a laser beam. That time, that was a different sound. <laughs> he blasted me with something. I don't know. Okay. My problem, I think we can all agree, the issue I'm having right now in this setting is I run a lot in the halls. And that that's a me problem. I think we can agree at this point the principal's really fucking me over. Now it's time for a great job. I run a lot in the halls. Oh, trying to figure out what the problem is. My sensitivity was a little bit too high. I lowered my DPI. This could pro this will probably change everything. I can't believe. Whoa. <laughs> That'll probably change everything. It was my sensitivity, man. It was too high. I couldn't I couldn't see what was going on around me. Hey, see you later, idiot. This is it, the big one. I'm gonna grab the chocolate bar. He's coming. Oh no. 
She has bad eyesight. I remember that from the lore. I hunt people for all of their Welcome to Baldi Basics in Education who is that? and Learning. Who was that? Who was we who was that? Someone explain who Wheels was. Who was that guy? There was some guy who just rolled into me and said I hug people and then slammed me into the wall so hard. I heard like an engine. Dude hugs. <laughs> I am Look. Okay, this time is the big one. <laughs> this is oh, hi. This is the big one. I'm afraid to ask, can I just like fuck up the questions? Does it matter if I actually answer these properly or do I actually have to do the math right? Or it gets worse. I feel like it gets worse. I feel like I have to answer them right. I don't care about the quarter, Baldi. 10, 10, 1. He gets faster. Baldi can go to hell, man. Damn, imagine if you had like a perfect speed run of this game going, and then at the last fucking notebook, you accidentally messed up one of the math numbers and it made him too fast to defeat. Wouldn't that be the most embarrassing loss you ever sustained in your entire life? You gotta be fucking kidding me. You got- 15 seconds. Detention for you. Your parents will hear about this one. No, I ain't tell him! Everyone, I gotta stop talking to chat. I actually can't like not run at the same time. I hold shift. All right, I move with shift keys. No running in the halls. 15 seconds detention for you. Give me this. Stolen, stolen. WD no squee. I think that's WD 40. Oh, I'm not running, sir. But I do have his keys in my hand. Chad, what do the principal's keys do? Someone tell me what they do! Math. Six. Zero. Doesn't matter. I can leave early from detention? Oh my god. I've never felt more powerful in my entire life. Oh my god. This is my moment. Oh, fucking Christ. I don't have time to get this one. Baldi's right there and he's gonna freaking kill me if he catches me. He's coming to kill me, Jack. This might very well be it. Oh, no. No. No! Sweep, sweep, sweep. Who is that guy? I lost her. Baldi's gonna come around the corner in a second and freaking kill me. Oh. Oh, this room. This room. We'll do this room. Yes. Okay. Five. Nine. Doesn't matter. He's faster when you look at him. You're just making shit up. I'm not going near that guy. He's a bully. Oh, no. Soda. Obtained. I'm hearing that guy that pushed me nearby. Looks like it's sweeping time. Sweeping time? Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I know how this... I Gotta sweep, sweep, sweep. That didn't work as well as I thought it would. All right, well, I'm gonna do mine then. Soda blast! All right, now we get the stuff. Eight. Minus three. Doesn't matter. Shoes, what do the shoes do? Help. Help. Oh, no. 20 seconds. 
How about you go f when will you learn? Fuck yourself. How about that? Swim, swim, swim. No escaping detention in the hall. 25 seconds. Detention for you. You should know better. <laughs> hey, uh, you know, you gotta respect the hustle. You gotta respect the hustle. Out there. I guess. No! I have the boots! Why was that there's the sound of a really sad Pokemon? Basics in education and learning. That's me. No escaping detention in the halls. When will you learn? When will you learn? Play the real version. This is the real version. Oh, hi. Can't you tell by the elbow? We'll give this one more try and then we'll go to the other version. Play a new one! Now it's time for every- You're doing fan- I can't believe it. You're doing fan- I'm so fucking good at this, though. I'm getting really good at the you can think pad. Come here and get your prize. A shiny quarter. Just click on it with the interact button to pick it. Problem one. Six. I can't believe it. Eight. Zero. Palty. Chill. Man. You don't have to get mad about this, it's nothing. It's not a big deal, man. Okay, we're just gonna get around the corner, we're gonna break line aside, he's not gonna know where he went. This luck is gonna save my life. Man. Diablo! No entering school faculty, only rooms in the halls. 15 seconds. Detention for you. Your parents will hear about this one. Don't, don't matter, man. I'm gonna get out of here just fine. And you ain't never catching me like that again. And you know what? I'll do it a thousand more times, old man. Oh, fuck, he probably just saw me right through the window. We're gonna get inside this room and hide. Math! Nine! One! Doesn't matter! I'm cool. Get me out of here! <laughs> Thanks for the help, man. You have a good day. Let's roll. I hug people for all eternity. Oh! Don't do this one. Don't. Will you marry me? No! Fuck away from me. The child just died. Good. Math. The math. Four. One. No running in the halls. Is she turning? There's no turn. Fuck. We lost her. Great. Yeah, here. I'll take that. It's the keys to the principal's office. Enjoy it. How do I use this WD no squee? There we go, like that. Okay, uh, fucking 15. No, two! What is the- what- chat, what are the fucking- what is the goddamn scissors do? Oh, fuck me, man. 
Don't. God? Fuck! I know the chocolate bar refills my stamina. Mr. Janitor, stop! I lived. I lived. No one's killing me that easy. I'm still in the game. I need to get my stamina back, but he's coming. Fuck. There's a thing here, but I don't have time to get it. Okay, this might be the last two hallways. Like, the last two rooms. And if it is, then I can double back. Because I think both of the ones in this hallway are the same. Oh yeah, it's this hallway. I don't have time to get them right now, but I know I can double back. Okay, here we go. Here's the plan. Get some stamina back. We're gonna go through that door. We're gonna lock it when we get there. We're gonna make the guy go all the way around. We just can't run into that goddamn principal. Wait for it. <clears throat> Wait for it! Lock it! He's going around the long way. We go! It's locked, motherfucker. You're gonna have to go all the way around too, and by then it'll be too late to catch me. By then, you will have already lost. I am coming ready like a... There's no way that old man's go- Give me something great Thanks for the generous donation. I needed those scissors right now to dispatch jump rope girl. Hey, no. Seconds. Detention for you. You should know better. God. 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 No running in the halls. Fifteen seconds. Detention for you. All right, we can go to the real, the new one now. Like I said, I would. Okay, we'll go to Baldi's Basics Plus now. We'll go check out the fucking, the version that doesn't have 15 seconds detention for you. Okay, happy. Now we get it. This game is so fucking agony. Dude, I like it. I like it. I think it's fun. Basics Plus. Now this is where we really learn how to play. Come on, chat. I'm not playing with you. Oh. Oh. We're way faster in this version. There's, a, there's one right there. We got some. Let's go. You don't even have to do math in this one. It's not even about math. It's just about hanging out with Baldi. Should be a piece of cake. We should win this one in no time. Grab the juice. We keep moving. Grab another one. Wait, the principal's office is here. At least Jump Rope Girl is canonically dead in this game. You know, isn't that good? That's good, right? Jump Rope Girl's dead in this one. She got killed. <laughs> ah! I didn't even realize he was there! I was so stunlocked by Gum Boy. Hi, I'm Johnny. Hi, Welcome Johnny. My store. Uh, can I have um? Oh, this will actually tell me what these items do. These big old boots will help you keep your feet on the ground, prevents you from being pushed by characters and obstacles found around the school. Okay. Uh, can I just have uh Thank an energy flavored zesty bar? Would have been so proud that I made a sale. Thank you. Like you ain't learning. Thank you for shopping. Okay, bye. Oh, 
fuck out of my way. I have nothing to play with you, let's go. Dude, Johnny's so cool, I wish I could be like him one day. <laughs> Give it up, chat. Okay? Give it up. Take it easy. <laughs> You're never gonna be like him. This is the principal's office. I, I'm not supposed to be here. Oh no, it's happening. Does the water give me, like, infinite stamina or something? Is that, like, what it does? Oh, not this fucking guy. He's already charging the blast. Ah! Oh! I'm gonna beat the shit out of him. If I ever catch that guy, he's as good as dead. Oh, oh, oh. Fuck out of my way. Dude, I hate that guy. I still need one more notebook. Baldy, please leave me the fuck alone, man. Leave me alone, man. I'm gonna have to do this this way again, huh? Oh! Soda blast. No one thinks it's cool. No one. No one. Not one guy. No running in the halls. Fifteen seconds. Detention. I, dude, I can't even beat the first level of the first game. I can't even beat the first one because of the fucking principle. I literally can't do it. I'm not good enough. My score is really bad. This is a better level. Look at that, look at the RNG there, look at that. Look at how quickly I got that, he's not even done counting. Look at how fast I got that. That means something, man. That means something, man. Look at that one, bada bing. And what, I don't know what this dirty chalk eraser is though. I really don't. I don't know what this is. I used it by accident, and it's gone. Looks like he's finally on his way here to put me down. But it's gonna be too late. Oh! <gasps> oh my god, now that changes everything. That changes everything. Baldi's gonna come through that door. Right? No, he's circling around this way. He's right there. He's right there. He's right there. He's right there. Where we go now? Principal. Principal. <laughs> I'm not running. Principal, I'm cool, I'm cool. Everything's cool. Oh no. We gotta move! We need to get the last piece! What's the problem? <laughs> 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 Who is that? Yeah! Oh! <sighs> Fog machine malfunction! I have all the notebooks! Where do I leave? Ah! Ah! <gasps> <gasps> no running in the hall. 15 seconds. Detention for you. You should know. God fucking damn it! Hi, I'm Johnny. Welcome to my store.
Can I have uh Can I have a quarter? Totally worth the price. Thanks. Fill out your map. You're my favorite customer. See ya. Thanks, Johnny. I have to do this, chat. Oh. Yeah, fuck you, Baldy. We know where all the stuff is now. We go. We go! And we need to do it before that wind guy shows up. Because God help us once he does. I can't play the tape is the problem. I need like a place to play it. Oh. Yeah, Baldy, have fun with that one, asshole. You ain't gonna know where we are for a while now. Good. I don't think he saw me. What? Huh? He knows! He knows, dude! What the fuck he can't know? No! I almost had it. I had to use the soda and I had to jump into the wind. I can- I have to do this, chat. I have to. Oh, hi. Leave me alone. Let's play hide and seek. Ten. Nine. We are going to win the game. Though I don't know where the exit is. I don't know where the exit is. Go. Go. Quarter. Boots. Use a quarter here to get soda. We go. Use the other corner to get this fucking chocolate bar. We go. Ball is out there now. Officer, you have a lovely day, sir. Three out of four. Last one's right here. And then we leave. Fuck, no, this isn't it. This is the fucking wrong spot. It's this way, then. The Buck. Oh, no. He's gonna be right on our tail now. And the principal's on the other side, gonna catch us if we run. We gotta keep our wits about us. We've officially bamboozled Baldy. And now I can collect the last notebook. Which is, of course, over yonder. Right here. Where is the exit? Fuck out of here! Huh! Officer. I'm going right back to where I started. think that's all right. Hi, I'm Johnny. Welcome to my store. Hey man, can I have the swinging Thank door lock? You. Now I might not starve. What? <laughs> what was that? We'll fill out your map. What was that? You might not starve? Johnny, are you good? Johnny. <laughs> you are you You're my favorite customer. You're my best friend, Johnny. I want to make sure you're good. 
I just don't- I'm worried about you, man. I don't want you to freaking starve. Scuffed escape from Tarkov. Are you sure? You think that's what this game is? Let's keep playing. Yeah, let's keep playing, man. Give me that. The locks are good. The locks are really good. The boots, less good. Where's all the classrooms? Where are all of the classrooms? That room was nothing. I don't know why I opened it. I outed myself. I revealed my location to Baldi. And there is the exit. Let's go to the barn. <laughs> yes, let's go. What's happening? Welcome to the farm. Farmer needs our help to get the animals in the barn. I'll tell you what animal we need. Then, you'll need to find all the matching animals and bring them to the barn. Just click on an animal to pick it up. Okay. Then, move it through the maze and into the barn. Alright, let's get started. Bring the animal that makes this sound to the barn. <laughs> Chicken. Oh my fucking god. Okay. Uh You got it, man. It's just gonna take a second, is all. Whoa! I think you might be smarter than me. Yeah, I can do this all day, man. There's another one. You got it. I'm really good at mazes, so. Oh. You got it. What the Bring fuck was that sound that the <laughs> Baldy? The barn. Can't make sounds like that, man. What was that? What was it? Wait, 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 what did they want? This one? Oh no, okay. Oh, I think you like it more than me. You're incredible. Thank you. He's being really Great nice right now. Job. That's right. Yep. Bring the animal that makes this sound okay. to the barn. That was not a cow sound. I know that. You might be smarter than me. Uh, That's right. I can't believe uh, it. You're incredible. Thank you. Wow. Fantastic. Yeah, I know. The farmer gave you these items as thanks. Thanks to you, all the work is done sooner rather than later. The hot dogs smell great. Grappling hook. An apple for Baldi. I don't know what the grappling hook will do for me. Dude, I need this fucking wind guy to go away. Stop. What is this? Five minus two equals... Three. I knew it. Zero plus six equals six. Dude, I love the math machine, dude. Favorite mechanic, bro. Really cool. What the fuck is this? I actually can't go that way. It's blocked. God. No running in the halls. Pro oh! Ball! The fuck away from me! Give me something for the great. He stole my grappling hook. 15 seconds. He stole it. Detention for you. Bully took it. Your parents will hear about this one. Yep. Yep. School slotting. I gave him the apple. Jesus, he's eating it so fast. We've got about 15 seconds.
An old book. An old book. Chat the fly. We can still get out of here alive. Now that the flood has subsided, we are at our most powerful. Uh, six minus three equals three. I'm not sure these safety scissors matter because there's no one to... My god, get the fuck away from me, you absolute goon. I think that this kid embodies everything I imagine a goon to be. I don't know how you all feel about it. Oh, what the fuck is this? There's no audio. There's no audio. I don't know where Baldi is in here. There's no audio in here! If this is a dead end, we're dead. We're dead. Ah! God. 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 Get me out of here. Get me out of here. That's worthless to me right now. I'm- we're gonna die. There's no way Baldi doesn't fucking kill me in this room. Right now. Mother of God, he's right on top of me. I just accidentally, like, drank my soda. I fucked up. That was the only thing keeping me- We're dead. <laughs> what just happened was an event that kills me. Because now I really don't know how to leave. Help! 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 Please! Someone! Anyone! God! Please! I do not know what to do! I mean, these are good. WD no squee. I hate the library. The library is really bad for us. But I don't think Baldi comes in here. Maybe, maybe there's something that keeps him. Maybe he fears something inside the library. I, I truly don't know how to leave. Cause it's like all to oh my god, I've actually gone in a circle two times. It's all identical fucking paneling. None of it's none of it makes any sense. It's all bad. I don't know where to go and my audio's still bugging out on my side. Help! Did you Now this is how we get the heck out of here. I'll tell you what, you just got- Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I don't know where I am. Walk the door. I need my stamina, Principal. Already solved this one. Already solved that one.
Away from me. If I could just get one notebook, it would have been okay, dude. I'm cool. 20 seconds. Detention for Yeah, I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm cool. Just when will you learn? Fucking never! No escaping detention in the hall. Get me out of here. No escaping the hall. When will you learn? Hi, I'm Johnny. Welcome to my store. This will fill out your You know what I fucking need? The map. Get lost now. I need the goddamn map. That's all I need. Let's go. Hey, I had a ball before me. No, I don't want I don't think I'm gonna do that. You're good. Locked on, motherfucker! Yeah, dude! Let's see how you Let's see how you fucking do it now, dude, now that I have the map on my side. I can even see through the library now. What chance do you have? Nine. Nine. Where's the nine? Where's the nine? Where's the nine? Nine. Grab it. This makes it so easy, we win. This guy can't stop us now. Everyone's on our side, win boy, on our side. Principal. Dude, I see all the remaining notebooks. Five, right there. Grab it. Two, right there, grab it. Last notebook's right here. I'm ignoring that guy. There's a fucking door here that's locked. Oh, no. This is the worst thing that could possibly happen. Don't you fucking dare, gum boy. Thankfully, he's coming from that side. That's the only reason we might be okay. He's too fast. I need you now more than- Ah! No! What just happened? <laughs> Uh, what? There was an exit, and then it said it was out of order. That was a fake exit. I got baldied. I got baldied. Hi, I'm Johnny. Welcome to my store. The map feels a hundred percent necessary. Experience what it's like to work at Baldi's Super Schoolhouse. When you have this on, no one will bother you. Well, except for Baldi. He knows fake name tag when he sees one. Can I sell you this? I mean, I'm gonna buy this. Now I might not starve. Yeah, I don't need the principal's keys. That's never helped me. Every time it just backfires in my face. Hang on, not yet. This is gonna cut through jump ropes and bubble gum? Oh my god, now hang on a second here. No, we're ready. Thank this is it, this is it. Johnny's a real one. Yeah, Johnny's helped us out a lot here. Let's do this. You're good. Let's yeah, I know it. We all, everyone knows it, Baldi. I'm one of the best. Drop the boots? No, I'm saving the boots. Because that'll keep me from getting pushed around by the wind guy. The boots are necessary. Oh fuck, I made a wrong turn. Look, only person that's gonna bother me right now is... Baldi. Everyone else thinks I work here. Five minus two, three. I think I missed one this time, I think I fucked something up. I messed up the loop somehow. Which is bad because this is still locked, but maybe this is actually for the best. To have it go like this. Okay, where was the last one? Whoa, fuck, I keep doing that. I'm trying to sprint while I'm looking. I see it. Okay. We're just gonna quad. 
quietly pick up what we need and get the fuck out of here. We're gonna grab a second zesty bar. Dumb boy. Three plus six. No fucking way he just took me out from 40 yards away down the goddamn hall without making an even an utterance of a sound. I get sniped by Gumboy? He pre-shotted me? I don't know which way he's coming from. I... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we won. We did it, baby. It's as simple as that. C plus. So it is random, just like one of the doors isn't good. Hey, John. Create a cloud of chalk dust to block off the sight of Baldi and his friends stand inside to hide or use it to sneak past characters without them seeing you. That's pretty good on paper. Uh huh. I'd like to take the quarter, though, in case I see, like, a, uh. Yeah, I'm taking the map, dude. Map's a mandatory purchase. Okay, map's a mandatory purchase. Think I'm gonna make that mistake again? What? This school sucks, by the way. There's a dead end that doesn't make any sense. There's some bullshit. It's a mess out here. Map user. Of course I'm a map user. I want to win. I want to be the best. You think I'm out here just because I want to get owned 13,000 times by Baldi? And his band of doofuses? No. I don't. Wait, what is that? Don't know what that does, but I pressed it, man. I pressed it really hard. I think I locked down part of the school. Uh, let's see, seven. I still have the faculty, uh, thing. Until Baldi kills me, I have an advantage in that no one, none of the, the principal does not care about me. No running in the hall. Dude, I work here. Fucking hell, man. I have a faculty name tag. Fifteen. Seconds. I have a faculty name tag! For you, your parents will hear about this one. I had to equip it. This is a room that I can evade you in, motherfucker. Okay. See you later. Oh, and by the way, fuck you. Long hallways, brothers. Long hallways, indeed. Long hallways. I don't know who that was. I'm gonna ignore him though. Just kind of a weird guy all around. No one really understands what that guy's deal is. We just avoid him. What's up? Uh oh. Sounds like Baldi is going to need a new ruler. What? No. Are you telling me he's... What's the problem? The world? No! 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 <gasps> oh, fucking gum guy. Don't like that guy. One. Where's the one? I'm glad he outed himself right there. He revealed himself. Now's my chance. 
I need to do this first, though, because I actually locked this hallway down. So I can't get out if I get this. This isn't the halls. I'm allowed to run here. I don't see him. We need to get this now, and then we need to go. Fuck me, dude! Fuck me, dude! Bad RNG. Hi, I'm Johnny. Welcome to my store. What the fuck is this? Portal poster. If there's a room on the other side, places uh, on the wall to get through. Stuff's starting to get more expensive, but I got to keep my faculty name tag. The boots have not paid off. I don't think. I would prefer to trade those this will fill and then get map. them. Consider your map filled. Say hi to Baldi for me. Yeah, I will. <sighs> not. I will not. I won't be doing that. Why not? Because I don't want to. Because frankly, I do not want to do that. At least Baldi's on the other side of like the entire goddamn planet in the grand scheme of this map's layout. He's very far away. Nine. Where's the nine? Where's the nine? Where's the nine? Who's hiding, motherfucker? I don't like the wind guy. And I kind of miss jump rope girl. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I, they just wanted to play and have fun. And I, I, I was kind of mean to them. I'm not really sure it was exceptional. Like, it, it was, like, acceptable that I did that. I really kind of feel like I should apologize, frankly, for my behavior regarding that. We Five. Where's the five? Got it. Baldi's gonna cut me off here. We go. He's still gonna have to cut me off. I gotta speed up. Ho! Oh! Fuck you! Ho! Oh! Oh! Alright, we're good. Oh, fuck. I need it's a three, it's a three, it's a three, it's a three! A minus five, it's not a three! I don't have time to do this. I literally don't have time to do this. I did. Baldi's ruler broke. It's too quiet. Good news is Baldi has no idea where we are and the last two notebooks are in the same hallway. You guys think Baldi's right behind us and has been the whole time? Where's the three? Grab it! Grab it! Faculty! No bullying in the hall. I work here, motherfucker! I missed it. I'm dead. Grab it anyways! I used some clock and it might have just saved my life. Dude, this- if this door doesn't work, I'm- Fuck, dude! Baldi was, like, missing me? He was phasing? He was phasing. His ruler is broken. I guess he can't kill without the ruler? 
Wait, really? Hi. What the fuck? I wish I knew that. Welcome to my store. Map. No way you'll get okay, that changes everything. You're so good at playing Baldi. I don't feel like you're being honest. What? Why? Why are you being deceptive? That's not fair. You had to say parentheses truthful. If you mean that. Which you better. You better be being truthful. Also help me God. This part's brutal because I can't see the question until I get around the corner. Four. Well, good news is I can kind of tell which of these rooms have these questions because they're larger. Uh, and they don't have other items on them usually. I don't know what the clock does. I don't know what the clock does. He's coming. He's coming. Chad, it was either A, the ruler saved me, or the faculty thing saved me. But I don't think the faculty thing was supposed to be able to save me. This is all one big dead end zone with no notebooks in it. Well, I have to loop around now. Get absolutely galaxy brained, motherfucker. All right, let's go. By the time it turns that corner, I'll be long gone. I'll be long, long gone. Don't. Don't, motherfucker. <laughs> I hate him. God, I hate that little freak. That guy's actually like freak tier. I hate him. Little good, like actual horrible character. Don't let the teacher spot this. <laughs> Don't let the teacher see this. Baldy needs his new ruler. Fuck. Forgot move. All the remaining stuff is in this hallway. We go. I missed the door. We go! We go! Hop! Two, two, two. Last one's around the corner. I don't know who this shadow guy is. I frankly don't care. Let me leave. Okay, dude. Okay, bro. I don't even know where the next spot would be. Give me something don't care what you take, just take it. Oh! 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 No! Why, God? There's one more spot and it's right here. But he might be able to cut me off before I get there. Dude, no fucking way, dude! All of them? It's RNG! The last part's RNG. I got owned. That last part's RNG and I got owned. That was devastating. It even kicked me out all the way. I can't believe it. Didn't feel like RNG to me. And dude, that fucking game overed me. Oh, hi. I got game overed.
Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, dude. Ain't no fucking way. I just want to like see all the try your hand at one of Baldi's crazy challenges. I just want to see all the guys, all the creatures, but I have to like progress hide and seek to get there. But then they then they reset me. I didn't realize I had lives. I thought I just like had infinite tries. Damn, man. That's brutal, man. Well, we have other games. It's time for the next game on the list tonight. It's time for the next game on our list. It's called Spectator. It's kind of a huge man style game based off of like various horror games. I don't know how they got the fucking rights for any of these, to be honest. I don't know how. I mean, I guess there's no, uh, there's no, um, there's no, no one owns Slender Man. So I guess they're just allowed to. But they also did get Freddy Fazbear, which I don't know if they... I don't know how the fuck they got the rights for Freddy Fazbear. <laughs> Guys, let me be honest. I don't know how they got the rights to Freddy. But they did. Okay. But I'm going to go to the bathroom and we'll get it. Uh, we'll start that up. I'll be right back. All right, let's get this. Let's get this party started. The table, my table does that in real life. That's a normal table. Anti-aliasing, disable, 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 disable. So the cool thing about this one is just that literally you are just kind of hanging out in the back rooms and that's the first level they start with in this one, in this version. So like, I really, you really are just kind of like looking around for a back rooms creature in the back rooms and it's, Pizzeria is definitely like Freddy Fazbear. We got, we got Five Nights at, did this game rip off all horror games? That one could very well be Poppy's uh, playtime. I really don't know and I can't say, but yes. Possibly. Or Bendy. Good news is no one owns a forest. Okay, no one, that's a setting that no one has. Actually, that might be Slenderman. Uh, anyways, which one you guys gotta do? Which one? But like, guys, which one of these fucking spooks do we want to experiment in? 
Which one do you want to experiment in, dude? We have to find out how a game works. FNAF? <laughs> it can't just be FNAF, though. Uh, report all anomalies, picture anomaly, blood anomaly, opening or closing doors, light anomaly, extra optics, resize, other anomaly, camera malfunction, disappearance, movement. <laughs> he doesn't know he's in a video game, bro. Everyone shut the fuck up. Yep. He doesn't- Bro, he doesn't know. I'm phone guy, except not the one that's a serial killer. I'm not that one. I'm a different one. Does Matt Pat know? I should call him. Hey, can someone explain these motivational posters? Don't be be rock smarty be what the hard are the world the world what the we were world world all quad world talk lucky takio you are new the artist you the Now, if I had to be honest about one thing, I'm pretty sure the guy, uh, the camera is having malfunction in this room here. Don't worry, man. I got you. Not getting any sound issues of any kind. Everything's looking pretty much okay. That flashlight wasn't there before. I'll tell you what. Yeah, right. Fuck. Wait, what is it? does that mean the things I found? Don't, hey guys, guys, everyone calm down, all right? Don't be be rots, what, no, be to what? Don't ood, el, much, not world. Doesn't that make you feel better? There's two pizzas, there's just only the one, I swear. Okay. Fuck. I'm getting their movement in the, uh, the closet zone. That's not very oots nil nim ne word of you. All right. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. That's not very tak raki tak ioi na onuth iatith u t. What was that sound? Did you all hear that? Dude, if a kid gives you that fucking drawing, if you're like a parent and a child draws that, you're like, look, mom. I made us! And it looks like that, you throw it, you say like, wow, good. You put it on the fucking fridge for a day, and then you like, get rid of it. You make sure it's gone. And the moment after. Like, the moment they look away, you get rid of that. That's a weird one. AI generated art moment. <laughs> oh yeah, you definitely know AI generated art is gonna be a thing that pops up a lot in like, games on like steam now we know this was uh was this uh fridge always open see what i don't like is when these games are like other dude why don't you get help for me why is this on me to do it he's watching it He's also watching it. Dude. Do I have to stay in here the whole time while it's happening for it to get credit? Because reboot. Uh. I got it. Everything's fine. Everything's fine, Chad. Gee, took care of it. 
That's not that's not words. Splebleverate. Splebleverat. Should I be reporting the sound? I don't know if there's a way to report this sound. Good news is we're doing a really good job. We're doing a really good job, Chad. I think everyone can agree on that. We've done a whole lot of goddamn. This is actually a good test. I want to see if, if I'm not looking at it, if it goes away. Or if it's counting the room I'm sitting in. Okay. Cool. Yep. I mean, I wouldn't go to a birthday here, I'll tell you what, but like... It's not that bad. It's not that bad. This guy should probably be using more than one monitor for his job, though. And he probably doesn't need one giant... Stereo speaker. Like, one big one. That's not going to get you very good acoustics. Like, it's not going to give you the surround sound that you're really looking for. At all. Really. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, whoa, whoa. That was closed before, motherfucker. You think I'm a fool? There's an AI-generated piece of art missing right here. I knew it. What I say? What I say? Tch. Yeah. I'm kind of dialed in. That one changed. You think I'm an idiot? How monitor slash drawing? It changed. That one changing to some weird clown creatures that I hate. Not like this is any better. You know what though? Don't be be raut, smarty be bint. What do that or the other world the world? What were the world world a woos word? Ulwood. Brings goddamn tear to my eye every time I think about it. It's been real quiet the last little bit in this game. I'm gonna say there's a monitor slash drawing issue here. I don't like the sounds this room has. Every time I'm in it, there's a weird fucking sound. You hear that? Every time. What's up with that? Why does that happen every single time? What's the... What, what, uh, that's a camera malfunction right there. I'm gonna go ahead and label that as a camera malfunction. I'm sorry? Then it was a movement. Something wiggled. Oh, yeah? Chad, something wiggle- there was a wiggle! I'm not a psycho. There was a wiggle. There was a wiggle. I'm gonna say other. Something happened here. Swear to God, I'll go through every category of it to catch it. He's seeing things. Oh, that's not good. That's a light anomaly. That's a light anomaly. Chat. <sighs> Look. I don't know why you're trying to lie to me. I know I saw Wiggle. Everyone, I, everyone saw it and it made a sound at the same time. It happened. 
It's real. We all believe you. Dude, doesn't this fucking idiot look a little bit like Rob from uh, Smash Brothers? This little idiot. Yeah, but shittier? Exactly. But you know what? Of all the Smash Brothers characters that I would not want to go up against, I believe a robot with the, a level of vicious, like, desire for bloodshed that Rob has, I think I would want to fight him the least of anyone in Smash Brothers. He has a laser. What, and not Kirby? Kirby has a gentle heart. He is forced to battle. Rob is simply an unfeeling robot that throws things at people so hard that they explode. Okay? Kirby kills gods because the gods step up on him. Hang on, I'm getting an audio. I'm getting like audio issues in the game. Extra object. Maybe gods wouldn't be killed and devoured by Kirby if the gods stayed the fuck away from him. There's totally extra objects here. What the fuck? Seems like we're gonna die any second now. Damn, man. So Kirby is the devourer of gods, but only if you push him. Dude. I'm just saying. The, like, the... Fact of the matter is that, like, if you don't piss off Kirby, he's just a friendly guy who likes eating snacks. There's not a single Kirby game that starts, like, mid-battle as Kirby is literally killing someone. There's always initiation. It's usually the big penguin does some bullshit, or someone does some bullshit, and then Kirby escalates. If you don't do the bullshit, Kirby doesn't do anything. Okay? Day 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 put respect on his name. I'll put respect on his name when he starts giving a shit about his subjects. Okay, I don't even think he's a real king. Okay? I'm pretty sure he's just some fucking penguin with a hammer. Okay. He seems more preoccupied killing Kirby, who again doesn't do anything until escalated upon, than like, I don't know, actually like dealing with his kingdom. Kind of a fucking idiot, if you ask me. Kind of a fucking idiot. All right, Chad, so that level was fucking scary. We know this. Let's check out the factor F forest. Let's go to the back rooms. This definitely won't all look the same and be really confusing. Yep. I miss Baldi. We have many a variety horror game today. This is not the last thing we're doing, but I did want to check out one more level. This seems like back rooms, uh, once people kind of moved in. Wait, they already mapped it. Hold up, you can't just map it. Hold up, man, you can't just do that. I miss Baldi too. Chat, the game fucking actually game overed us. I don't know what you want me to say. The game game overed us. We got owned. We got owned. What? That happened again. That thing happened again. Something's wrong here. Extra object. Something's wrong here. That weird wiggle happened the second time. And I don't know what it was. That's a really big clock. <laughs> Is that supposed to be that big? Disappearance.
Ah. Uh, um. Uh, movement. Zoomer can't tell time. What is this? Chat, I cannot fucking believe that I can't tell what changed in here. The clock. The clock was it. It was the clock. That makes sense. Because if it wasn't the clock, that was a really big fucking clock. <laughs> Ain't no fucking way, man. Ain't no way. <laughs> what? Whatever. We're looking at you see that just means we're doing a good job out here. We're doing a good job and now we know that whenever it shimmers, that's something changing in the map. Now we know. Dude, chat. I've been training. I've been getting really powerful in Tarkov. I'm ready. That next wipe, dude. You guys are going to see absolutely no Tarkov content on this channel whatsoever. But I'll tell you what, I am going to be so fucking good at games after this. I'm getting so good at games. Let me tell you what, nothing will change. <laughs> Dude, that's... <laughs> let, me tell, let me go on a little sidebar here and confirm to you that while I've been doing something, it, absolutely none of it relates to you in any way, shape, or form, and I'm really just kind of yelling things into the void, more so than actually, like, sharing something meaningful. Try dark and darker? No. Uh, I'll wait till it's done. I don't like playing betas. Or at least I'll wait until it's available for uh, the duration of my existence. And is it just... Well, 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 what do you think you're doing? Extra object. Tarkov is in the beta. I just explained my reason. And it is that Tarkov is perpetually available. Dark and Darker is in a beta and that goes away for five weeks. Five months. I want to play games that are constantly available. I don't have to fit some time frame to play. I don't like that. Huh? Bill? Bruh. Next game, bro. Next game. We have a lot of games, dude. Okay. The next game? <laughs> it's time to switch to variety horror. True variety. I'm gonna change the game name to uh specifically I haven't tested many of these this time. So we're kind of gonna rapid fire these, okay? Buckle up. Chilla, if only. The next one is called Techni the game's name is called Spin to Win. But I'm going to label everything else under spook for the rest of the stream. Spooks. We know how this works. I don't even know if this one's a horror game. But it was, was recommended. Everything spooks now. Oh, I'll tell you a spook. It loaded in the wrong window. And in my vertical fucking resolution, too. I fixed it. Spin to win. You guys ever play uh, Neopets? You guys ever uh, crack open Neopets? Click that, click that wheel of monotony and get yourself five Neo points before. Yeah. This game was made by Calvin. All right, shout out to Calvin. Unless the game sucks, at which point, Calvin. Bulbs missing. Speakers busted. Is that what it looks like outside? What are those huge monsters? Looks like I fell down here. Who 
only thing in the room to interact with is that fucking spinning wheel over there. We actually, we fell right down the spin hole. I haven't, I've not dared, I've been down here for two weeks. I've dared not touch the spinning wheel. I've just been surviving off of the slime that falls th through this hole. I live down here. All right, chat. Here, here we, here we are, here we um, here we, here we, here we, here we, here we, here we go. Another PT game, SMH. All right, we're we're putting the fucking we're putting the putting the brakes down on uh, spin the wheel for a second. What the fuck did you just say? <laughs> Another PT game? Orange. 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 An alarm clock. It's broken. It's right twice a day, not that I can tell when. Thank you. Okay, so orange means we win an alarm clock or maybe like a decoration for our room. Let's go again. Purple. In instant noodles! I won instant- we won noodles! I'll wait a few more spins to see if I can get some hot water. We got- bro! We're getting everything we need is a huge rolls, dude. Huge rolls. Huge rolls! Green. I won what? One rose. That's... Not very good. Okay, uh... Spin it again. Orange again. Which should be another alarm clock. That's a stick. That's not. That's just a stick. A friend for the flower. Well, that's good. Ah. Uh. Purple again. Purple again. Sand? Oh, thank you. That's fun. I tried eating some, but it doesn't taste very good. Well, we have the instant noodles. We just need to wait. Maybe we get some water for them. Green again. I get the same ones every time. Dude, I caught it! I caught it. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. That's at least something to play with. It's something that's not it's not much, but it's something. It makes a fun jingling sound. Orange again, man. What was that? Oh, bugs! <laughs> a bunch of bugs! They're dead though. It didn't say dead bugs, it just said bugs. I mean, I... Thank God they're dead. I mean, I guess... We'll huck them in the bad corner. 
Guys, it's okay. So the rewards are gonna start getting really cool soon. Oh, new purple! New purple! Box. Who is it? A oh, box! Open it. To put more stuff in. It really is just a box. Uh, with nothing in it. But... Yo! Dude! What's in the box? Nothing. Nothing. It's just the box. But that's cool. That's storage. We can use that. We can use that. We got green again. Music. This is nice. My house is really nice now. Orange again. Sleeping bag, dude. A whole one. One whole one. My crippling social anxiety with 20 tier 3 gifted subscriptions to the channel. Thank you very much. My crippling social anxiety for once again. Oh. We only won one sound bite of the song. Thank you for the gifted subs, though. Very kind of you, very kind of you, real awfully kind. You've misclicked once again with tier three subs once again. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Really kind, really kind. Thanks. Hey. Thanks. No more back pain. We can sleep now, Chad. We got Chad. We got everything a man could need. We have we have a box. We have sand. We have a we have instant noodles. We have whatever. We win if we get purple. We have bugs. We have sleeping bag. And we have. What was that? What was that? What was that? Wait, what was that? Ah, uh, and we have. Wait. Um. Green again. Sure. Well, any day now. All right, nice. We got a chair and we got a free arm. Poor guy must have gotten caught on something. I'll take that. I'll keep it in case I need a hand with anything. Shit, we have everything a man could need in this hole. We're gonna be able to live a hundred years down here. We got a table. We have a radio. We have an alarm clock and a lamp and noodles and one small stick and a rose to smell. A rose so we're not just smelling freaking freaking concrete we have a toy a, ca a cat toy so we can play and have fun and scamper around and like have a good time and we have a sleeping bag so we can sleep without back pain and we have bugs we have so many dead bugs oh look at how much fun we could have playing around with these bugs isn't that fun isn't that we have this arm we have an arm we can use what happens when the flashlight breaks Hey, we have this sand! We have sand! We can eat this! We can eat this! Look at us. Everything's coming together. And I got a big, 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 real good idea that this one is the big one. This is gonna be big. And now we have entertainment. And now we have entertainment on top of it. By God, this is... I'm living a better life down here than I ever was upstairs. <laughs> what, what, what more could you possibly give me? Please, let's take it easy. What more could I possibly do? I can, I can scribble and draw trains and whatever I want. 
I can do whatever I whatever I please. I'm having a wonderful time. I really am. Let's please no more. Please no no more. No more. Purple. What was that? Someone? Oh. A box of chocolates. And now we even have chocolate. And now we even have chocolate. And now we even have chocolate. Chat. Chat. I'm never going back up there. Uh, the world upstairs had like weird creatures in it. Alright. The world upstairs had big spiders in it. This one doesn't. Okay. That's a goddamn, that's a goddamn, that looks like an award for something. That looks like an award for something. And you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take, I, 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 this is one of the best days of my goddamn life. I'll tell you what. They love us. They really love us. We're winning. Oh. Axe. Axe? Yo, hell yeah, man. Now I can even, like, get really good at axe throwing when I'm down here. That's gonna be really good. Self-defense. We're gonna need that, man. We're gonna need that. The wheel's not gonna kill me. The wheel loves me. I'm best friends with the wheel. The wheel's my best friend. Purple. Yo, we got it. We got the big prize. We got the meat thing. We got the big old pile of of dirt and meat, dude. Huge win, dude. I got the cube. We we got the weird blob, Chad. Look at that thing. You can push it around, you can do whatever you want with it, Chad. It's huge to have this. Ah! Ah, ah, ah. Hey! <laughs> Come back! I want you! You're mine! You can't just leave! You're mine! You get down here now! Don't make me huck an axe up there! It's cool, Chad. It's cool. It's cool. I didn't even really want him. I don't need a pet down here. I'd never be able to take care of it all. I already have all these bugs. We'll just spin again. Green. Ah, oh, it's broken. Um, yeah, you know what? Maybe they'll send us the parts to fix it next. You know? I'm not gonna let that bring me down. You don't really need the light. I've adjusted to the darkness. Aurum. What was that? What was that? I lost! Hello? No! No! Oh. What's this? Oh. I did lose, but I think the game didn't remember that I have a very high resolution uh, window, and therefore what was a 1080p block? Did not work on my monitor. Hey, chat. Guys, think about it like this. It didn't show me die. It just showed a black box. And we got the water we needed for the instant noodles. Think about it. 
that was the best thing that could have happened to me. Now we can eat our noodles and then swim on out of there. Straight vertical up that water stream like Minecraft. Just like Minecraft. Everyone loves that game and it's just like real life. Everyone loves Minecraft. Next game is a scary one. It's called Why Is Office Coffee So Bad? I actually don't know if this one's a scary one. This might be the palate cleanser of uh, the day. So heads up. This may be the palate cleanser. Why is it? I don't know. Whoa. Another day, another dollar. You're an office corp. April. Snail. Sna month of the snail. As we all know. Yep. Average chatter POV. When do I, can I like, oh. No, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I've had. I've already had five cups today. I shouldn't. But I could. No, no, no. No. What's what's one? What's one more? What's one more? What's what's one more? Glass of coffee. I can type with one hand. Yep, this is the life. This is this is the now this is the this is the life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you enjoying that there coffee? Yeah, I fucking hey. am. I did just ask you a question. <laughs> it's just a, a simple question out of politeness, but <laughs> I would still uh, respect an answer. Just a simple yes or no, or are you enjoying that there cup? Yeah, well, <laughs> anyway, I just thought I'd let you know that uh, drinks actually aren't allowed in the office. They, uh, they sort of covered that in the uh, mandatory anti-external sustenance seminars that we uh, have to go to. I uh, didn't so, ask... I I'm ask. sure you've been there, but I in haven't. case you forgot, I didn't forget. I didn't uh, know. Definitely don't allow drinks. So oh, I yeah? would definitely highly recommend putting that away. Yeah, I'm just gonna drink all of it. Or the boss sees you drinking it. <laughs> I'm just gonna drink all of it. Yeah. I'm just gonna drink all of it. All right. Anyway, don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> yup. Yeah. Go ahead and get all that down. Dude, I don't see why the boss would have any issue when I'm this productive. Okay, I don't even need to- I, can, I don't need to look at what I'm typing to type it and type it good. Alright, I'm not too worried. Your work output has decreased by about half. Please pick up the pace. Smile management. I'm going to need to drink some more coffee. Just a reminder of the camp company motto. Both hands on the keys. Make work a breeze. Management. I'm just gonna ignore that and just keep drinking my coffee. It's like they're not gonna like what happens if I stop drinking my fucking coffee. All right, let's be honest. Uh, we will now monitor your employee activity. Frown management. Then it sounds like I have no reason to stop drinking my coffee now. It sounds like you already know, and I'm not gonna fucking change my ways for nothing. Is that fucking time? Why is my coffee red? Oh, hang on, the boss is calling. Uh, I can't answer, I'm drinking coffee. Wow, seriously? You made me use the force pickup button? Uh, yeah, this is your boss speaking, and I've had several complaints about your work output, 
And honestly, I was going to try to make a good case for you, but I can see on the security cams that you're breaking our number one rule. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're talking about. Desk. So I'm going to need you to put that cup down and uh, get back to work. I'm going to need you to tear it out of my goddamn dead hands. All right, you're going to have to, you're gonna have to well, fucking well, come well, down well, here and try. Stop drinking that. I don't... <laughs> no. No. Do you even know what you've done? Whoa, what the fuck was in this what the fuck was in this brew, dude? What kind of beans were these, Jeff? What kind of What kind of beans are in this? <laughs> Yo, I think these might be These might be silly beans, man. Uh uh. Um... Let the record show that even while the world is refracting and becoming a five-dimensional existence, I continue to fucking type and do my goddamn job. Okay? Existence literally broke apart at the seams and I was there typing. Here we are, in the coffee zone. And so, our hero dives into the unknown depths of time and space to seek out the answers to life's most mysterious questions. Although one thing is for certain, the future is open to those with coffee on their side. Even if it is cheap, office coffee, Oh, I can just leave the void? Oh, I won. Well, that was our palate cleanser chat. Uh, the, the boss call made it worth it alone. Uh, that, <laughs> that was funny. Uh, alright. Next one. It's called... Tornuktu. 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 Christmas, dude! Christmas! Could you repeat that? I said Tornuktu. Il Clampus. Il Clampus. Late one winter polar night, you find yourself unable to sleep, awoken with a strange, uneasy feeling. With your mother fast asleep, you decide to move to the living room. With not much to do, you start reading an old book you found at the town bookstore earlier that day. Just thought I'd check. <laughs> I noticed I was small in the chimney. Was it such a size? I, that's going to be a problem later, isn't it? Read book. Tornuktu. The Tornuktu is an evil creature originating from Alaskan folklore. Its physical form is described as having both human and reindeer characteristics. It has the head of a reindeer but with human teeth. Awful. <laughs> Man, Alaskans are so fucked. What the fuck? What do you mean, human teeth? <laughs> what do you... Dude, fucking chill for a second. It has the head of a reindeer, but with human teeth, which wrap around its entire face. It has the body of a man, but with hooves for feet. Its skin is pale white and is covered in black fur and has eyes that grow that glow in the night. It is said to be especially tall when on its hind legs and capable of walking like a human. However, it is also capable of galloping like a deer and can travel at high speeds in an almost floating manner. Wow, dude! That was fucking scary, dude! And now as a child, I believe that is real! All right, I'm going back to sleep. Immediately.
I can't open this. Guys, I sure do hope the Tornuktu isn't real and going to freaking kill me. Wouldn't that be, that'd be a bummer for me. I don't see anything out there though. I don't see anything. Check outside the window. I'm not, I'm not seeing anything out there. Maybe it was truly just my imagination. I mean, I just read it. It's not like anything happens just because you read it. What was that sound? Hello? I heard the sound of scraping. Like something was scampering. It was coming from Mama's room. Tonukto. The reindeer guy with human teeth. Hello. Ma? 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 Mama? 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 There's a cryptid, I believe, in the house. Oh, I have to read more of the book. The Tornuktu is only said to be seen in the months of November through January. During these months, Alaska experiences a time of darkness known as polar night, where the sun ceases to rise. It is believed the Tornuktu is unable to attack outside of these months due to a weakness to the sun. Once the polar night starts, the Tornuktu is said to be starving and will begin its hunt invading people's homes and eating them. It is believed that the Tornuktu targets those who build their homes far from ovens in secluded places. Thus, to be safe from an attack, people should live closely to one another. Looking around for neighbors. Looking around for neighbors out there. i check the other window just to be sure. Looking around for neighbors. Uh, only seeing really a void. Look, uh, not really seeing many neighbors. Yeah, not really. Not, but the, what are the odds that the Tornuktu is real and also comes for me? Like, that would basically mean that God wanted me to die and get eaten by a Tornuktu. But I'm not. But chat, here's the thing. Here's the thing. The Tornuktu has human teeth. Human teeth are not very good for eating. Like, Meat that isn't like cooked. It, 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 that's a lot. Human teeth and jaws aren't that good. It would hurt. But like if a guy was biting me, it wouldn't be as scary as like many animals. We got canines. Yeah, but they're not as scary as like egg, like carnivore, like true carnivore canines. You sure? I don't have soft. Is that what a fucking Tornuktu looks like? That guy looks, if that is the saddest motherfucking thing I've ever seen. That ain't scary. Yo, what's up? <laughs> Mom! Man! Mama! There's some kind of creature outside! Help! There's a fucking snowman outside! So I didn't build it! I'm gonna check up the chimney. Better not see him. Go away! <laughs> Go away! I don't like his legs. I really don't. Help! Ma? Man? Man? Ma, Mom. Uh, the back door's open and there's a spooky snowman outside and I threw up. <laughs> uh, all those things happen separately. 
<laughs> you threw up, I threw up earlier though, and, and uh, it's on the ground, out in the hall. Ah, <laughs> uh, that brings me back crawling into my like parents' room after just like being like a fucking idiot kid and be like, "Mom, I threw up." <laughs> It, it happened a little bit ago, though. I don't know what to do. Help! That ain't a reindeer. It's some kind of creature. We're just gonna close the door. Mom, it's bad! Lots of snowmen outside. A sign of the Tornuktu is near. Is finding snowmen-like figures which are said to have faces of the dead and smell like human corpses. It is believed such figures will surround a house before the Tornuktu attacks. On the other side, it might be near his excessive feelings of fear or distress with no direct cause. Okay, but I mean, it's not that's not fair because I'm seeing the snowman and that's now the cause of my fear. So does that then make the Tornuktu not appear if I'm scared because of the snowman? Or does it only appear if both the snowman exist and I'm also fearful for some other non-disclosed reason? Does the Tornuktu build the snowman as like his calling card? Well, good news is that chimney, no one's getting into there, man. Mom? Mom? Santa? Santa? I hear like sleigh bells or something. Oh, Santa Claus is here! I can hear it. Santa Claus? <gasps> Hang on. Santa Claus, why are you breathing so heavy? I mean, actually, no, that makes sense. He's pretty, he's pretty big. He likely doesn't live the healthiest life. All right, Santa, here I come up the chimney. Okay. Here I go. I'm gonna do it now. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> this is okay. That's not Santa Claus. Ma, mama, help. Well, at least he fucking left. Ma'am, there's a bear on the roof trying to crawl in through the chimney again. Get the gun. Ma, get the gun. Much like happens every time around the winter season in Alaska, there's a bear on the roof. Hank's back, Ma. The children. The Tornuk too also carries a bag made of fur, which it uses to steal children from the house it attacks. It is unknown where the children go when they are taken. Some say Tornuk too eats their soul to attain immortality. Others, that it keeps them to eat throughout the rest of the year. Couldn't happen to me, dude. Couldn't happen to. Couldn't happen to me. I'll tell you why right now. I'm just. I'm just like a pre pre short thirty five year old. Uh, I just still live with my parents. Oh! Mom? Mom? Mom, I... I... Mama. Mama, 
I do need to reiterate again. I did for I threw up earlier. It's bad. Well, they're gone. They're dead. Do I escape now? I live, right? I guess the moral of the story is children are so dumb that even when everything is spelled out for them, they'll still allow their parents to die because they're too stupid to connect dots. They have basically constant horse blinders on at all times in their life. They are fully blinded up 24-7. <laughs> They, they don't see anything but what's directly in front of them, and they have no fucking ability to look around, dude. They just can't. Maybe the book will tell me what happens to me next. It is believed the only way for the Tornuktu to die is to starve to death, so once it finds a house to attack, there's nothing that can be done to stop it. Hang on, let me see that again. In a different font. It is believed the only way the Tornutu can die is to starve to death, so once it finds a house to attack, there's nothing that can be done to stop it. Seems like no matter which font I read it in, the, uh... It's looking pretty grim. Damn, dude. Well, uh... Let's get comfy, chat. I guess, um... Okay, Mom, so I threw up in my room. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh no! By God, I can feel human teeth! Dude, did you guys all see his human teeth? The human teeth? That was the most- that was easily the most concerning part about everything that happened right there. That was easily the most concerning part. Easily was the human teeth. That was spooky though. That was spooky. That was a good one. About there? That there was a good one. Too bad about mom, but really a whole lot of not my problem, you guys. You know what I fucking mean? A whole lot of not my problem out there today. A whole lot of it. All right. Next game. Grain Wind Incident 77. Camera game. Camera game. Game using a PSX filter game. Beep, 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 beep. They've made 76 of these prior. A urban explorer enters the Grain Wind Production Factory. The premise has been long abandoned and shut down many years ago due to unknown circumstances. A recovered tape named Incident 77 is found near the premise showing the events that took place before the tape was discovered. Yeah, hold up a second. Wow, this game actually comes with everything disabled. That's rare. No bloom, no film grain, no motion blur, no ambient occlusion. C keep it all off. Well, when you say don't, I want to turn them on. Play the tape! Don't ever tell me what to do again. Hey guys, I broke into the uh, Green Wind factory. I, uh, yeah. Hang on, my guy. I'm gonna turn off my uh, bloom. No, keep the bloom on. Motion blur off. That's the only one that needs to ever be off. Guys, there is a horrible accident took place in this very building. July 1984. Literally. Literally, Chad. Literally. It happened this year. 
Hello? Big, big bubble. Oh my god. They left without even taking this poor vacuum. What the hell happened here? What kind of... What kind of sicko leaves vacuums like that just lying around? Oh, you can really smell it. The chemicals, the, the mold, all the mold, the asbestos. They still have power going through here, huh? They still have electricity? Damn. Oh, whoa! Oh, I thought there was a creature. But it's really just these sparks from this active generator that's still on. Dumpster. But what does any of it mean? And how high does this place even go? I only have another five minutes of tape. I think there might be some kind of wild animal inside the building. I think there might be some kind of- I think someone might just- maybe- I think it might have fallen down the elevator shaft. Might have been some kind of- there might be a rat or something. Guys, I freaking accidentally killed myself. <laughs> Why does this game have a jump button and fall damage? Why does this game have a jump button and fall damage? That was, I, I caused a, the grain wind incident of 85 or 84. I caused the grain wind incident 84 right there. Okay, I'm back. What the hell even is this thing? Some kind of robot hand. Let's just keep going up. No scream this time. No one's been in this part of town in a hundred years. Or, I mean, sorry. I mean, uh, let's see, like seven years since the, uh, accident. First English newspaper starts in Moscow. Work-related death incident reports at Grain Wind Production Factory. A worker has lost his life this weekend when an oil canister exploded nearby as he was working on the elevator shaft. The explosion proved to be fatal as the man fell to his death while lit on fire and was dead before he even hit the bottom of the elevator. Oh, okay. Uh, probably could have squeezed... Probably should have squeezed the rest of that after the death part, because I thought those were two separate sentences. Even though, there, of course, there was no period after death. It just kind of felt like there was. They just added, like, another line that was just like, he was in as much agony as possible the entire time, and then he died before he even hit the ground. Okay, our condolences goes out to his family. Further investigation into the facility's safety measures awaits. Oh my god. Well, I found out what the incident was. Unless there's like multiple incidents. Do you guys think there's multiple incidences at... The hell was that sound? Did you guys hear that? Maybe that was a really small incident compared to another incident yet, yet unknown. Mama, he, uh, and the rest of, uh, I can read that word. That says bop. Mama, he, <laughs> bop. <laughs> I can see that one. Ah, oh, yes, I see exactly what happened. This guy fell down this incredibly unsafe elevator shaft. It's all coming together. It's all, it's all coming together, Chad. Everything, all of it's making a lot more sense now. 
Any minute now, we're going to find out what the horrible incident was at Grain Wind. Hello? A new one? Can one person explain to me what this building does? Like, from looking at it? Hello? I think the... It's best. It's doing its best. Hello? That was not me. That wasn't me. Oh, yes, it was. False alarm, guys. I know I said it wasn't me, but it was actually me. Sorry for scaring all of you. Okay, I'm gonna jump in this hole. This is a long ass ladder. Hello? Did I just climb into like a fucking reactor? What is this? Huh. Uh huh. Another tragic event at the grain wind facility occurred this week when a 25 year old woman was found at the bottom of one of the large grain silo containers. The woman broke her neck in an instant from the fall. Workers say the event occurred due to the old rusty ladders found within some of the silos. Dude, I was about to jump right in. I didn't even think there was a ladder. I'm sure this is safe. Seems safe to me. She's just bad at climbing fucking ladders. Kinda pathetic. Kinda pathetic. Dude, just fucking... Just hold on. Explain. I think I just zoomed past a ghost because I was looking at this gr this beautiful graffiti. And the ghost just got in my face and I missed it. I think I actually just zoomed past half of the ghost spook. I think I did. I think I missed it. What kind of mystery happened in the grain wind? One second back. No. Surely... The truth awaits on the roof of the building. <laughs> hey, are you the idiot that fell into the silo so hard they died? Is that you? <laughs> ah! Dude, that's going straight into the YouTube video, dude. I cannot believe I just got that on camera and lived without any repercussions. That is fucking epic, dude! I'm climbing up onto the roof! I cannot top 10 ghosts I've caught on film! There's another one, dude! Oh, hang on, that's just a dead guy. Oh, no. I have to- uh, we're gonna- don't worry, guys, I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna Logan Paul this. We're gonna cut this one out. We're gonna cut this- we're gonna cut that one out. We're gonna cut this out. We'll cut that out, but I am gonna keep filming around it for ghosts. But if he- I will cut out the body, but if a ghost comes out of it and tries to spook us, we are gonna film that, okay? I'm just gonna- we're gonna- we are gonna film that if that happens. Oh! Whoa! Oh! <laughs> I did not think that was the whole elevator shift. Well, you know, sometimes I do be how the cookie crumbles. I've, I'm glad we all figured out that the grain wind incident was really just that it, no, OSHA wasn't there, dude. <laughs> I think I'm able to narrow down the problem with grain wind. The problem was OSHA was not there. Uh, no one showed up that day to like check if that place was safe from this, from the look of thing. All right, we got one more game. We got one more game here. This is made by the guy who made the toilet rooms game. But hey, it's apparently got some Christmas theming as well. We're gonna, one last ride with toilet rooms guy. This one's called El Splucerio. Hmm. 
Minus the L. Yeah, no L. Come on, chat. We're just doing a bit of like, I use mouse scroll to change items. We got ourselves a cup. We got ourselves a lantern. We got ourselves this X. You know, I could probably go for a quick sip here of delicious tea. As we get our job done out here. Whatever it is we're doing. Come on, chat. Getting cold. Did I waste tea that I needed to? Oh, fuck. Looks like we're gonna have to move a little bit faster than a normal player. Because we kind of dropped the ball on that one. It's fine. I just wanted to drink the- I, I like drinking stuff in video games. I don't know what to say. Just keep our wits about us. I don't really know what we're doing out here, but uh, God damn it, I'm gonna fucking do it to the best of my ability. Ah, oh, maybe we're going like, uh, X fishing. Yeah, that's what, that's what we're fucking doing. We're going fishing with an X. Okay, yeah, but like, what am I doing here? Oh, I needed this tree. Of the tree for Christmas. Yeah, the kids are gonna love this one, dude. One of the best trees I've gotten for a Christmas tree possibly ever, dude. All I had to do is collect it from this sacred valley. Let's get it back home. Let's get it. Let's get it back home before someone comes and gets me. Yep. Oh, fuck all of you. Really? Oh, was this your. What? Well, you guys know, was this like your friend? Are you all alive? Is this place, is this place that cursed? You're gonna tell me this valley's that cursed. Hey, well, how about you get up and do something about it and you're pissed off about it. Oh, wait. You're a tree. And you can't do anything. More <laughs> Hang on, I need more tea. You guys all have a good day. I really think my character could have probably just picked a different tree. So, uh, when is, when are you gonna come alive and fucking get me? Then, alright, if that's what it's gonna be. It's gonna be like the, this is like a horror game where like the tree comes and gets you, right? You guys all just stay right where you are. I'm not gonna. God fucking damn it. You need another glass of tea. You need another glass of delicious water. Let's roll. The trees are all staring me down. They're upset about me cutting down this this very small tree. Is that a giant fucking fish? Do you guys even know who that is? I feel like I'm, I'm dealing with two different things. I'm just gonna glitch into this wall and hide here. Yeah, I'm stuck. I'm definitely stuck in here.
But the fish, there's no way the fish can get into this crack. That's a giant fucking fish. Let me out. I fucked up. I fucked up, dude. I fucked up. I got stuck. Please. Please, dude. I think I broke the game. Let me go, man. I want to live, man. I don't want to die out here, man. Let me live. Let me go. I, can't, I have a fucking axe. Let me cut this fucking tree down. Please. You guys all suck. I fucking hate you. Owned by trees. This is all they had to do to kill me is just hold me in place. Man. I really thought the toilet rooms guy would really fucking pull through with a real good one. And he almost did for a second. For a split second, the atmosphere and everything was there. And then a big fish came out of the fucking woods. <laughs> Can someone explain what the fish was? Because like up until now, I was under the impression like the woods were going to rise up against me. And then a fish came. My expectations were subverted in a very meaningful way, I would say. Was I was just Rufus? Rufus the giant fish. Another Alaskan bullshit story. Another Alaskan bullshit story. Hang on. Alaskan giant fish, giant floating fish story. Alas, there is no Alaskan giant floating fish story. There's none of those. There's none of those. There's not one about that. No one's talking about that. Hi, I am from there, says Alaska Alien. Well, can you explain what the giant floating fish was that came after me and forced me to hide in the woods that got me stuck? Because nobody lived to tell the tale. Oh my god. You might be right. Well, that game was supposed to last longer, but I don't feel like running again all the way through it because I just, I just, I just can't. I just can't do that. So, bop. I just can't, so I won't. <laughs> I can't, so I won't. Baldy round two. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. We'll do... We'll do one more classic Baldi run. All right. We'll do one more classic Baldi. No fucking like redos with the goddamn roguelike one. One more genuine go with the real deal classic Baldi's Basics Remastered. Time to get good at math, baby. That's me. Time to get good at math, baby! Fuck out of my way, old man. Get out of the way. Negative five. You finished talking? It's eleven. And six. Thanks, Baldy. I love Baldy! I'll take it. Thank you. Problem one. Nine. I can't Negative one. Whoa. Doesn't matter. All right, here we go. It's time. Let's do this. The whole... Everyone's counting on me. Everyone. They're cheering, listening to the crowds. They're going, yeah, sweep, sweep, sweep. They're going woo! Woo, he's yeah, doing sweep, it! Sweep, sweep, sweep. He's gaming! And he's going to do it. I am going to do it.
I'm just gonna need this lock. All right. We will live. We just have to do these math problems. Wait, does time pass while we're doing this? Chat? I need this. I don't think it does. Or he would have caught me. Officer, good to see you. Well, I know my stamina comes back when I pick one up. Minus six, minus three, don't matter. Ah! No, you freak! Ah! Okay, that was the warm up. That was the that was the warm up. That was a warm up. That was a warm up. Get the fuck up, Baldy. That was a warm up. We're warming. We were warming up. I hate that guy. I hate the I hate the hug guy. I think hug guy sucks. Minus five, minus six, nine. Baldi's basics addict. This version's really fun. Problem one. Go ahead, get mad. Go ahead, get mad. Time. Whenever I go the other way, I die. It seems like this way is to play. Until someone yells at me for running in your halls. I hate the principle. It's clear. There's our only chance to get a lead on him. I don't know what the clock does, so I don't want it. Because I, I have no idea what that thing does. I pretend I do not see. Please. 15 seconds. Detention for I just you. wanted to learn, don't Principal. To this again. Principal, I just wanted to learn. That's all I wanted, Principal. I just wanted to learn. It was all I wanted. Why? God. He wouldn't give me, he couldn't give me that. It's that kid. <laughs> it's the child, the cursed child. Hey! Hey, let's play! Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Alright? That makes me sad. I hate them. They can't be coming back. Again. They can't have fixed it already. I thought that'd be permanent. I thought I ruined the day. No. No, Baldy. Why doesn't the principal do something? Why doesn't the principal do something? Looks like it's sweeping time. Oh no, it's sweeping time. Sweep, sweep, sweep. It's fucking sweeping time. No, God, please, no. No, no, no. It's sweeping time. That's the worst time of the day. Sweep, sweep, sweep. I could get sweeped right into him and die. Sir. I don't have time to get this one. Fuck. Eat this. Grab that. He'll take a quarter, probably. I take your canes for the generous donation. Go to hell. No running in the hall. 
son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Whatever this is, I'm paying for it. Oh. 20 seconds. Detention for you. It didn't do anything. You should know better. I think I pressed the wrong button. Goodness, there's no way Baldy. There's no way Baldy fucking gets me, guys. It's gonna be okay. So dead. Help! Welcome. Guys, you guys think I might just be bad at Baldy's basics? Like, not bad at math, but just bad at Baldy's basics? You think I got- you guys think I might just be bad at Baldy's? Well, I seem to be okay at doing the math. I'm just okay. I'm just not very good at the uh, The baldies part Like maybe I just don't work well under the pressure of a guy trying to like chase me down and fucking kill me in general I think that would I think that would kind of strain most people, you know It's all RNG Dude that's cope Nah, you know what it is? It's me sucking at the video game. That makes more sense to me. I think it's just that I, I'm shit. No running in the halls. The shadow zone. That time we completely navigated around Baldy. Oh, no. Why don't you just kill me already, old man? Your parents will hear about this one. Me, whenever I get caught for running in the halls. Fuck off. Fuck off! <laughs> Why won't everyone just give me some space already? Leave me alone. Go away. Go away. 20 seconds. Detention for you. Your parents will hear about this one. Oh, you're gonna tell them? Oh, you're gonna fucking tell them. You're gonna tell my parents. Thank God. Okay. That I can just walk right out of here and get back on with my life in three seconds. Piece of cake. Give me this. Give me that. No entering school faculty, only rooms in the halls. 25 seconds. Detention for you. You should know that. Baldy doesn't know I'm in here? Which means I'm gonna carry on and wait the timer. It's coming back. I don't have time to wait. Looks like it's and that's how you win the fucking game. All right, and that's how you win it. And that's how you get out of there. Give me this. God! And that's the, how you end the stream. And that's how you end the whole stream. And ladies and gentlemen, sometimes it's as simple as that. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, man. I'm done. I want to be done by seven. I'm done by seven. All right. I'll be back, chat. Uh, we're going to do something Monday. It's probably going to be short again. I'm sorry for the shorter streams the next couple of days. Um, there's a chance something might happen tomorrow if Joe ends up canceling D&D &D, because I think he still has COVID. Um, if that ends up not happening, then I might stream something, but that'll be impromptu to announce like when it happens. Uh, I have a plan for that, but, um, streams are going to be shorter at least for the next, this whole week, like it's holidays one and I do do stuff over Christmas. 
Uh, this whole week's going to be a little crusty. All right, I don't know what to say. There's a lot of stuff that I don't really feel interested in doing when I am under much more constrained time. Monday, I have to start in at like five in the middle of the stream. I have to start my colonoscopy juice. So I've got till about 6 p.m. Uh, mathematically before um, poop day begins. So uh, not entirely sure if there will even be anything Monday. But I may, uh, I may try to do something, like, shorter and start at, like, two beforehand. Like, do something for, like, three hours, maybe four, and, like, leave when, uh, leave when it gets, when, like, it's kicked in and just be done and bail out. That might be what happens. Tuesday's almost a guaranteed nothing happening, unless I'm, like, feeling really good and did get sleep somehow because it's at, like, my, a uh, my procedure's at, like, 9 in the morning, so I have to wake up at, like, 3 or, like, 4 in the morning to finish the rest of the colonoscopy juice. <laughs> so, Tuesday's probably going to be straight up not happening at all. Like, that's just going to be not on the table. So, I'm going to try to squeeze some streams in. And find some stuff. It's just likely a lot of stuff this week is going to be like impromptu, not announced, and just happen. Because I'd like to, there's stuff I'd like to do, but I can't really hold a schedule when this is something that has to happen. It is like, it is like, I must do it. So it's happening. Bad timing, but it's happening. And then stuff will probably smooth out more once the, uh, once the week is over and the holidays are done. This week will just be. A little weird while stuff gets sorted out. Obviously, health comes first. So, getting it taken care of, not taking any chances. Uh, stuff will be clear once uh, Monday. Not next Monday, but the Monday after comes around and, like, things just aren't crazy. But, yeah. Ideally, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, there will still be normal streams, as is always the plan. Nothing should be getting in the way of those. So, those should be normal. It's just for the next, like, three, four days... Stuff will be just a little coin flippy. But yeah. Thanks for the gifted subs and donations and bits if you did. I always appreciate it. Thank you very much. It means a lot to me. I'm gonna get uh I'm gonna get on out of here though. I need to go find food and do some stuff. So I'll catch you all on Monday guaranteed for something short, at least. And maybe something tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. We'll we'll see. All right. See you later. Goodbye.